Hi, it's Jan Hal from YouMakeItSimple.com here with another simple sewing project. This DIY hooded bath towel makes a really fun baby shower gift. They sew up really quick and they're made from just a simple bath towel and a hand towel. In this sewing tutorial, I'll go through how to make it with a sewing machine and if you have a serger, I'll show you some tips and tricks on how to use your serger. I'll show you how to applique different designs on the towel if you want to, some different ways that you can embellish the towels. Make sure you stay with me till the end of the video and I'll show you how to make some matching washcloths. You can make them as fancy or simple as you want. Let's get started. The items and things that you'll need to make your hooded towel is of course a towel, a hand towel, or you can cut out a piece of terry cloth 16 and a half inches by 12 inches. You'll need a pair of fabric scissors, matching thread, a sewing machine or a serger is optional. A rotary cutter is nice if you have one and a rotary ruler and mat, of course. If you are putting an applique on the hooded towel, you'll need a scrap piece of fabric, trim if you want to put trim on the washcloth, and if you are doing making an applique on the towel, you'll need some heat and bond or wonder under. Pins, a measuring tape, or a ruler, and an iron. And you'll also need some masking tape. If you are applying an applique to the towel, there is a PDF download that you can copy, print out, and cut out. So here's just a few ideas of some things you can do um, with the hooded towels. This is a white towel with a, a stripe here. And I have used a green hand towel and applique this cute flower on there and just put a simple tag on the back. Added a little pink rick rack that I have also added onto the washcloths. And I love, I love rick rack. This is just a rick rack with a simple embroidery stitch through, through that rick rack. So a fun little towel there. And you can, also, you can always applique whatever design you want. I have included in the pattern the star, um, a couple size stars, hearts, and you can also just do whatever you want. This is a cute um, letter for their name. And this is another striped simple towel with a blue hood. And the washcloths, I have just added a simple tag to the edge. And this gray towel, this is a fun little towel. I've added an orange star, one to the top of the hood and one on the center back of the towel. And applique just a strip of, of homemade bias tape that I've made from the fabric. I'll put the link of the, the tutorial for that in the, in the notes. And if you just want a simple soft look to a towel. I haven't added a lot of really frilly stuff to it, but a cute heart, simple heart on the back. And to the washcloths, I have done just a simple chain stitch along the edge embroidery to match the heart. Just a really soft color for, this would make a really fun gift for a new baby girl. So there's lots of different color combinations and options with your towels. So the first thing that we're going to do is take your hand towel and we're going to cut it to size, which we want a piece 12 inches. And I'm going to use the back side, well, this, this part of the towel with the trim for the hood and the other side we'll use, we'll cut up and use for a washcloth. So I'm going to flip that around and cut it 12 inches in length. So 
So the towel measures already 16 inches. Most hand towels measure that. If they're a little shy of that, that's no big deal. Um, but we've got it to that 12 inch length. And you can go ahead and cut off your tag. We're going to use the remaining part of the hand towel to make two washcloths. I'm going to cut this down to 12 inches. And then cut it in half. So we'll have two rectangular washcloths or whatever half of your hand towel is. And we'll finish those off after we're finished with our towel. So set those aside. So if you are applying a fabric applique to the towel, cut out a piece of fabric that will be big enough for your applique design and cut out a piece of the heat and bond the same size. Place the fabric right side down and you'll want to set your iron to no steam. Take the heat and bond with the bumpy side, plasticky bumpy side facing down on top of the back side of the fabric. Make sure the iron setting is set to no steam and simply press just a couple seconds on each area. So you can either trace around with a pencil or pen or you can pin it and cut it out. I'm just going to trace it with this pencil. So to remove the paper, just simply peel it back and you'll have a little plasticky stuff adhered to the fabric ready to press onto the towel. You'll want to decide whether you want the applique on the top of the hood. You can put it on the back of the towel. I'm going to put the big one on top and a little small one on the back of the towel just to see how far down that is going to be folded that was just about right so five inches and I'm, I'm going to apply it obviously to the right side so make sure you're um, placing it on the right side center it fold it in half just kind of pin put a pin in to, so you can eyeball where that needs to go I'm going to place it right there and we are going to be stitching around the edge but this will keep it in place nicely while we sew. And we'll take it to the sewing machine and applique around the edge. I am going to apply the applique onto the back of the towel while we're doing this. So to find the center, I'm going to fold my towel in half and mark the halfway point with a pin. And the hood's going to be applied right on the edge so we have plenty, we'll have plenty of room just so you know how the distance there. And I'm going to just put it right there. We'll take this, this to the sewing machine and stitch around. Now you can either use a zigzag stitch or a blanket stitch if your sewing machine has that um, option. Or you can also do a blanket stitch by hand. When you get to the corners, just flip it.
show you a back stitch. So like I said, you can also do a, a zigzag stitch, a close zigzag stitch all the way around. Before we go any further, I'm going to finish off the bottom edge, the cut edge of the hood. That way when we apply it, it will not fray and you can either use a serger or a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. I'm just going to show you on this particular hood, this particular towel using the sewing machine method. So I've set my sewing machine to a zigzag stitch with a wide, the width set to five, or you can do a four and the length about one and a half. So I'll just, and I'm just stitching right along the edge there, back stitching at the beginning and at the end. So I don't know if you can see very well because it's the same color, but that's what we're going for right there. That's so it doesn't fray. To shape the hood, I'm going to fold the applique side and the finished edge of the towel down five inches from the top and measure from the fold down five inches on both sides. Pin it in place and then measure five inches from the top edge and apply a pin. Mark it with a pin. Five inches from the other side and mark it with a pin. We're going to be sewing from this point to the very corner of the fold here. To get a straight line, the easiest way, and what I, I love using masking tape, I'm just going to pull a strip off and align the tape with the top of the pin edge there and the very corner of the fold where it meets right there, the edge of the binding. So it goes right to the tip of that fold. Do that for both sides. Now, if you have a serger, you can use that, and that will be great because that will cut, that will sew and cut and finish this seam. If you don't have a serger, I'm going to show you how you can just use a straight needle sewing machine and a zigzag stitch to finish the edge. What we'll do is sew from the point here to the point here, back stitching at the beginning and the end of the seam. A straight stitch first, and then we'll cut off um, about a third, three eighths of an inch away from the seam, cut that off and then use a wide zigzag stitch to finish the seam allowance so it does not fray. So I've set my machine back to a straight stitch and I'm going to sew that corner. Going right to the corner and back stitching. Make sure the edges are lined up and even. We're sewing from the corner. tape and just cut three-eighths of an inch away from the seam.
and so this doesn't fray because this will fray pretty good we're going to take a wide zigzag stitch and sew along the edge have that nice exact stitch that's going to keep it from fraying. So to give it a little bit more contour we're going to gather the center part of the back of the, the hood and to do that I'm going to measure five inch or four inches from the outside edge and mark with a pin. Do that for both sides. And then I'll take it to the sewing machine and we're going to gather right from this pin to this pin by sewing a long straight basting stitch just about a half inch from the edge. So I've reset my machine back to a straight stitch and the length to four and a half to five. I'm not going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. So to gather that evenly, I'm going to pull on one of the threads at the one end and pull the other and that will kind of lock it in place. And then I'm going to go to the other side and find the thread, there we go, and just gently pull it and gather. I'm going to gather until it measures about 14 inches. So it's a little too much. That's about right, right there. So now to apply the hood to the towel, take the towel with the wrong side up. I have my applique on the back side. So this is gonna be the inside. I'll turn this inside out and there's your hood and then we're going to mark the center point of the hood with a pin and if we already have applique there I know that this is the center otherwise I would fold it in half and mark the center point with a pin. Now open that up and I'm going to align the center pins by overlapping and placing the hood overlapped just to the the edge is along the edge of the binding and pin it in place. We're going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch with a zigzag stitch along the edge of the hood and then we'll turn it over and top stitch along the edge of the, the binding there. So I've set my machine back to a zigzag stitch. The width I'm going to use four and the length two. And I'm just going to sew along the edge of the hood and make sure that as I sew 
that it's lining up with the edge of the binding. Back stitch. Remove the pins as you go. And when, the, when you're sewing over these gathers, just try to lay them flat as possible. And that you're catching the edge there. That's why we're using a zigzag stitch. to the end and then to make sure that I'm just sewing evenly on the outside of the trim I'm just gonna flip it over and sew along the edge of the trim have a nice flat seam. Just take a moment to clip all your threads. So now I'm going to show you on this white hooded towel the method of using a serger for the hood. I have taped off my corners and I'm just going to serge so that the seam ends up right on the edge of the tape and it will cut and overlap over stitch all in one process so really nice if you have a serger to use it if not no big deal you can use your single single needle machine and zigzag like i showed before So I'm going to figure out where the end, the edge of my needles are going to be. I'm going to line that up with the edge of the tape. So we don't have a tail hanging out on the inside. I'm going to show you how to start sewing, a little trick to start sewing and um, so you don't have this tail at the end. Because if you clip that off, it can come undone. So I'm going to just lift up my presser foot, find my needle position put my presser foot down and then start sewing. I'll take a few stitches and then I'm going to lift up my presser foot, take the tail and wrap it underneath and pull it over so that it gets cut off when I'm sewing. Put the presser foot back down and continue to sew. Just sewing along the edge. I'm going to sew off right at the corner there. Now so that I don't have a tail on the end that I'm going to cut and that might fray, I'll show you how to end the, the serging seam. So once I come to the end, I'm just going to sew off a few stitches. Lift my needle up, so turn your handle so it, the, the needles are up. Lift up my presser foot and I'm going to flip it around, pull it out and put it back underneath the presser foot and pull it just a little bit so I am past the edge just a little bit so make sure that tail is tight then I put my presser foot back down the blade is just at the edge and I'm then going to sew and then just sew off then I don't have a tail at the end 
it's tight and ra tightly wrapped around and then I'll clip that. So I have a nice serge seam, a finished edge so it doesn't fray and you can remove your tape and see how nice that is. I will do the same thing for the other side except this time I'm going to start at this corner so I can follow the the tape guide. Remove your pins of course. Lift up your presser foot. Find the needle position where it's going to be at the edge of the tape. Put my presser foot down, stitch a few stitches. And it might be a little bulky over this trim so you might have to kind of ease it in with your handle. So a few stitches I'm going to lift up my presser foot, grab my tail, pull it back underneath the presser foot and out to the side. Put my presser foot back down and continue to sew. Going to sew off a few stitches, just maybe one or two is all. Lift, turn your wheel so the needles are up, lift up my presser foot, flip it over, pull it in just a little bit past the edge, and sew a few stitches and then sew off. that side. So to finish off this bottom edge and so we don't have to use the zigzag on the straight stitch I'm going to use the serger. Just simply place that raw edge underneath, lift up your presser foot and so that we don't have a tell I'm going to sew just a few stitches. Lift up my presser foot, take the tail, pull it underneath and continue to sew. Just barely cutting off a little bit that edge. Come to the end I'm going to just stitch maybe one or two stitches off the edge. Lift up my needle, lift up my presser foot, flip it around, place it back underneath along the edge, sew a couple stitches and then sew off. There you have a nice finished edge ready to sew on to the rest of the towel. So now I'm going to make a few washcloths to go with the towel from the leftover hand towels that we cut out earlier. I'm just going to make finish off the raw edges with a, just a simple rolled hem by folding it under a quarter inch and then folding it an, under another quarter inch and you can either use a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch using the same color of thread as your towel. And then I'm just going to embellish it with, you can embellish it with a cute strip of rickrack, um, ribbon, you can embroidery, you can do all kinds of fun things. And for this particular towel, I've made a, a strip, just a folded, a hemmed strip. You can use the bias tape maker. I will show the link in, in the notes on how to do that. So I'm just going to apply that along the bottom edge there, top stitch on both ends, really close to the edge, and that will give us a, cute, a couple cute washcloths to go with the towel. So I've set my machine to a straight stitch. You can use a zigzag if you prefer. And I'm not even really going to, going to pin this. I'm just going to fold it over just a quarter inch, just barely fold it over and then fold it over again. So it's a, just a small rolled hem, and then I'll top stitch along the edge.
Now I'm going to apply this binding strip to the end, the end of the towel, just along the edge of the binding there. I have changed my top thread to an orange thread. The bottom thread is still going to, I have still have the gray thread in there. Then that won't show on the back side. I'm just going to fold the very end under and place it on to the towel. I'm just going to use a straight stitch. You could use a zigzag if you wanted to. Put your needle in just to see where that is going to be. And I'm not even going to pin it in place. I'm just going to hold it as I sew. pull the, the strip, just hold it lightly on top of the towel. And I didn't pre-measure it because sometimes when you pre-measure it and you cut it as you sew, it kind of stretches a little bit or it, so I'm just going to clip it right now. Just, and then fold it to the end. That might be a little too long. I'm just going to come to the end and leave my needle in. Lift up my presser foot and stitch along the very edge and lead my needle in and flip it and then sew down the other side. You can use the hand wheel to get to that place that you need to be. Sometimes it's sew down the edge there, back stitch. And just a cute little embellishment to the washcloth that goes with the towel. Kind of fun. And there you have a nice cute hooded towel ready for a baby or toddler or child, something they can grow into and use forever. If you're new to sewing, make sure you check out my Sew Simple course where you can find out all you need to know to start sewing now. And check out my other sewing videos. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated on all the new videos and tutorials that I put up. We'll see you next time.